Hey, what is up, everybody? Blades for here, and today I for you another video of Black Little Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we're going to be going over this video right here, which is going to be showing us what all is coming with season three, as well as some interesting teasers here. So I'm very interested to see what's going to be happening. I think we get further looks inside of the uh, characters' looks in general and just how they can be played, as well as what their skills translations are. So as you guys can tell, I got Yandex up right there, and we're going to be actually translating these things a little bit live here. So if you guys are interested in this, be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video here. If you're new here, of course, I'd be doing these videos all the time for you guys. Currently, I'm still waiting on my internet to get back up. So we do a lot of things here where it comes to unit builds and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to sit back, relax, and be here for the ride. Let's jump straight into it. Now, looking even further into this here, I think it was like right around here, we end up getting a good C of at least what's going to be coming here, and which is going to be a couple of different events here. So if we go ahead and look, they showcase us with the seasonals here, the boss itself, uh, some event at the very far right, and then it looks like Julius. Now, I'm kind of interested why they have him kind of separate from everyone. He may be our first banner, but as a lot of people are thinking here is he might be our best banner, which is fairly interesting. I'll make a whole video going on without that, stuff like that. But we have our three seasonals here looking kind of nice. Asta doing some sit-ups. Okay, okay. But they show us Asta some gameplay here, which actually looks interesting. That looks like skill one. Yeah, the skill two. Okay, a heavy, just single target hit. That looks like that have a taunt right there in the ultimate. He just knocked, he knocked him up in the air with the surfboard. So first, hold on. Let's go back and look at something because I want to see if he got a taunt from that. I couldn't really tell. It was some type of blue buff he got from here. And oh, whoops, went a little bit too in. I want to check. Okay, so he gets some type of buff here. I think that's the crit rate um, buff here. I can't really tell. I don't think that's the taunt uh, logo, unless I'm thinking of a different game right now. But um, so he gets a buff after using his skill too, which is fairly, fairly interesting. I feel like his ultimate may give off a taunt or something here. And then, oh my God. Yeah, she's just going to be busted. I don't understand why, but she's definitely going to be busted. We have a single target right there. Doing another single target. So double single targets. And then her old bro, they know what they were doing with this. They know what they were doing with this. I'm sorry. There's oh, I know they know what they were doing. Hold on, bro. No, no, no. You can't just look at me and tell me they they didn't they were just being innocent with her freaking her animations. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. No. But we have the first hit, doesn't give any buffs here. Second hit right here gives her a certain buff. And whoa, that looks like a new symbol because I've never seen that symbol before. And then the, I'm sorry. Okay, if you know, you know, because there's no way they were doing that. Just uh, seemingly not. Nah. And then we have Charmy, okay. Going after food as usual. Going after food as usual here, but um. Okay, so she has a single target and that heal. Whoa, okay, hold on. That automatic heals. And she has another heal right there. And then her ultimate. Let's see. Oh, we need to see what the ultimate ending was, though. I want to know what the ending was. I feel like it has a, another heal built into it. But, like, she has herself a recovery thing right there. Not sure what the bottom one is there. I can't remember if that's magic tech boost, but I remember what that is here. And then let's see what we got. Another recovery here as well. And then we have a different ultimate here, which is also awesome, but pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. The Asta is definitely going to be one I'm going for as well as the Vanessa, um, mainly because the Asta is a defense unit that I do kind of need. So, I mean, like, hey, if I can get enough gems up and stuff like that, I'm going to try and get them. Um, my freebie, of course, is going to go to the Vanessa, most likely. And that that boss ultimate looked dope as crap. I can't even get. And here's what I was looking for. The little teaser here. Now, this was kind of interesting because it's totally different. And um, he definitely looks like something that isn't your normal unit here. Something that's talked about. I'm praying this isn't a fest unit so early, but if it is, then that'd be interesting. 
But we have, of course, the event. Different little world with that said event here. Wait, why is Goge here? Oh, so the other little seasonals are going to be in this too? Custom story, maybe? That would be kind of cool. Oh, some free cards here and a, ooh, a new set. An interesting set here. So that's actually kind of interesting. We have a lot of things actually shown right there. We have a whole new gear set by the looks of it here. Uh, some other little event stuff here. And I think that's all they really go over. But um, we have the dragon event, or at least a three-headed uh, boss event here. High drag, I should call it. And then a whole little story event, which they made a whole world for, which is kind of interesting. Um, maybe we get some a decent amount of gems and stuff from that. Hopefully we get some actual good materials and stuff from that, but pretty interesting there. I thought they would go over what the characters would do, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like they actually just like kind of show just the characters in general, not what they do here. But, uh, we do see that of course they, they have their kits here a little bit in which, uh, it's fairly, fairly interesting to say the least here. No one has any AOEs by the looks of it here. I'm guessing Charmy might have an AOE heal if she gets like, I, I'm hoping she has an additional effect too, but um, we didn't get to see that. But if she has a heal, that's that's really, really nice. Like an AOE heal, that'd be really, really nice here for the looks of it. But going back through, of course, we do have our defense unit, which is going to be Asta. He has only um, single targets, unfortunately, but... He has buffs here, same buff as the other one, so it has to be something relying crit rate or something like that. I can't really think about it right now because I don't think it's crit rate. Because crit rate is the little dashed diagonal, one, and the other one is the uh, crit damage. So that's something else. I gotta remember what that symbol is. It's been a little bit since I've been able to play the game, but um, got mainly just single target units, which is crazy. Once again, absolute insane with this guy being ultimate. But without further ado, you guys. You guys, let me know who you think is going to be the more busted one down below, of course. I haven't really looked into their kits with uh, certain leaks, of course, but um, fairly interested, fairly interested. I thought they would actually have something regarding their kits, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong here. So let's check out Giku real quick, because uh, I know he would know out of everyone here if they had the kits, but I don't think they have their kits just yet. So unfortunate, but um, yeah, very interesting, very interesting to say the least. But till next time, everybody, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button here. We hit the 1K mark and want to continue going from there. But uh, yeah, peace out and hope you guys enjoy the rest.